I think Jordan Brand finally got something going on, man. And I want to give you a huge shout out to Corporate because they made it happen. Today, guys, we have an early review of the upcoming Jordan Airship Corporate God. What's going on everybody in the building, man? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. Make sure you guys are following me over on Instagram, Twitter, all the above, TikTok also. All the links will be down below in the description at Tony D2Wild. My TikTok is actually Tony D2Wild8. But today, guys, we have the review of the upcoming Jordan Airship Corporate Gotham collab. Now, the Airship initially was a Nike release, a Nike branded release, and now has since became a part of the Jordan brand family, now being called the Jordan airship and for the most part the airship's been doing their thing here and there initially coming out in its original colorway with a pack i believe called what the new beginnings pack which was a reverse bread and a white and red nike airship which was a couple years back and then it kind of died off for a little bit and then recently moving more so into 2023 we've seen more of the airships popping up recently we got a pair of a white and gray and now we have the Corporate Gotham collab that will be hitting the scenes on September 8th over at Corporate Gotham exclusively and then later on to neighborhood stores on September 15th. The retail price point on these will be $150 and in my opinion, these are probably the best airships I've seen drop since. Yeah, there's been some cool ones that have been a part of a collab and all this and that, but this one, I kind of just like the color, I like the story, and I like the collaboration. A lot of y'all in the comment sections salute to people that are in Indiana and Ohio. There was a lot of people that showed major love to corporate and what they've been doing for the community. A lot of people wanted to cop this shoe. They're not even big fans of the airship, but they're big fans of the store and they want to show support to the store. And I think that's dope. I think it's good to see those stores get the recognition they get, but then also seeing the people back them as well. On the back, you see it embroidered with got them. On the front, you got that Nike logo. You also got that corporate on the back embroidered as well as corporate on the hang tag. Flip that around, you got the Jordan logo. Now I told you guys previously, this is a part of some bigger pack, maybe the neighborhood pack as we would call it because what I'm starting to see now more and more being added in is different cities along this. I know that Jordan brand has used to been known for their tier zero stores, their tier one stores, but they really now have been diving in into these neighborhood stores. And I feel like this could play a little bit of a part of that or just a lot of the other collabs and other shops that are a part of the Jordan Flight Club. You even see it here, it says International Flight Club, Air Jordan on there. You see Tokyo, you see South Africa, you see Paris, you see Detroit, you see Cincinnati, you see the Philippines, you see Beijing. This one in particular is the Cincinnati tag that is on the box. And it kind of resembles that of a suitcase that is traveling around the world. We've seen though a lot of these other ones being featured as other shoes in the past. The Detroit one being the Jordan Low 218. The Philippines being the one I believe that collaborated on the Titan colorway for the store, the Titan Jordan. South Africa getting like a melon I believe color. It was a white and orange. And I'm going to try to show each picture with each store. As far as Tokyo, I don't know. But I'll put a picture up if I can find one. One for Paris, I'll put a picture of if I can find one. And then also as well as Beijing. So now we see, of course, Cincinnati being put into the mix. And these are actual stickers. You can hear the differences. These right here are not for the most part. These ones are more so flat, but it's really dope. It says Jordan Airship PESP, Special Projects. It says light menta slash metallic silver. And this one in particular is a size nine. Now I'm typically a size eight and a half and I was able to get my hands on a nine at the time. And I can't lie, the nine feels pretty good. Like I think an eight and a half would have been almost too snug in my personal opinion. These do come with an extra set of laces that match more so with the actual shoe. But I do like the white because it pops and give it some difference and contrast with the shoe altogether. The suede is very, very nice, very, very good material on the suede. And then you got the new book going on, the toe box as well, as well as the back ankle collar. And the midsole, it's a, I would say it's a, I hate to say it, it's not like a pure white. It's more so on that sell in, but not really, really sell, but it's not white either. It's like a, like an egg color. The bottom grayed out. You also have some patent leather going around the swoosh right here, which is also featured in that new book. And overall is a very, very solid shoe. I definitely 
for the most part, have been thinking about keeping this one in the collection. Now, I did keep the 218 at one point, the Jordan 2 Low 218. I like the story and everything about it, but I eventually just did not end up wearing it and I got rid of it because of that. This is something that, you know, I gotta definitely think about, but one of the reasons I like it is because I like the color, bro. I like the actual color. The stories of these shoes and all the other ones have great stories. So I'm not gonna sit here and cap be like, man, the story is just amazing as well because the story for the 218 was amazing as well, but I just no longer kept it. Each shoe will feature a card that is an actual, you know, letter from the actual owner of corporate, Matt Toma Michelle. I'm probably saying the name wrong, but Toma, Toma Michelle, Toma Michelle. I'm saying it wrong, forgive me, Matt. Salutes, man, nice note right there, check it out, you know amazing story and uh salutes man i really like the fact that he that he gives that acknowledgement to his friends and his family because a lot of times people always just say like i did it all by myself you know and all this and that but like those type of things those type of people that come in and encourage you to keep going those things are some things that will get you over the edge at the end of the day when you when you know when, when it's time to quit there's been a lot of people that have seen things in me that i haven't seen in myself and having people like that in your life is a blessing, bro. Just having someone that can see more in you than you can see in yourself. So salutes to him on that. And um, yeah, man, corporate, he's there. He got him. So yeah, man, I really like the shoe. I really like the name. I like the, I like everything about this, man. You know, the Airship is not really the biggest popular model, but that's not the, that's the point to, you know, give something different. You could definitely put a Jordan 11 and add some nice collab to a store and it sell out or a Jordan 7 or a Jordan 4, but an Airship, and it being like this, I think they did a very, very good job overall with the colors and all of that. So salutes and salutes to everybody in the comments that really rocking with the store as well. So, you know, salutes. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the description. If you're going to go ahead and got them, these are not. And I'm going to let you guys end off with an on-foot review. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.